Knowing how to divide in perspective without any ruler into common divisions like halves, thirds, quarters, and fifths is an essential skill for architectural and design sketching. Because we often deal with grids and grid systems and repetition and modularity. Dividing into halves is probably the most common one that we'll often need. To divide any square or rectangular shape, we simply create diagonals from both corners to find the center point. And in this way, we can create the midpoints on all sides. For this example, we will use the vertical. When applied to perspective, in this case, a two-point perspective, the only thing we need to be a little careful is the directions of conversion, the direction of the converging lines into one of the vanishing points. So drawing the diagonals is rather the easy part. Creating the midpoint on the intersection. And now when I want to draw the half line, I actually have to make somewhat of a interpolation between this direction to this direction. So it should be slightly something like this maybe. And from here, because it's two point perspective, I can simply draw a straight vertical line. So this middle line should be also converging to the same vanishing point. A common mistake in this scenario is, and what we as humans are naturally drawn to, is to wrongly estimate this direction. So very often we get something more flat in either direction, which we don't want to go into. So just watch out for that. Division into thirds is probably the second most common scenario. And the way we start is the same as with dividing into halves. So we start by drawing two diagonals and dividing into halves. The next step is to draw diagonals of the halves, at least one of them. So let's say from this point to this point. And the same for the other half. And we should get intersections at these two points, which actually mark the vertical division into thirds. And again, we apply it into perspective view. Starting with the diagonals and halves and then drawing the diagonals in the smaller segments. And again, we should get these two intersections. So there we have thirds. If you'd like to learn more about perspective drawing and see more examples and worksheets and different explanations and even how to populate your perspective sketches with vegetation and people and how to put it all together, you can check out my two books, Sketch Like an Architect, which are available as a PDF or as a printed paper bag, just like these ones. Quarters are rather straightforward as it's, it's just halves of the halves. So again, we can start with the process of drawing diagonals and then repeat the process one more time.
fifths are probably the least common type of division that you'll need, but let's demonstrate its technique anyways. And it's just a one step further from the quarters. Now let's apply the same 2D principle in perspective. The important part of these divisions into fifths is that you'll find the points at the intersections always with the two main biggest and longest diagonals. So there you have it, division in perspective into halves, thirds, quarters and fifths without using rulers. If you are interested in improving your perspective drawing skills, especially freehand without any rulers, I invite you to get these worksheets for free in my free sample of my second book. Thanks for watching and happy sketching!